it is Kate here. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel and joining me for a class. I've got about a 10 minute wall stretch for us. Um, I don't know about you, but in the classroom, when you're at the studio, there are tons and tons of props to use. And at home, we don't always have them, but one prop everyone has are walls. They're one of my favorite things to use to help stretch and to kind of open up my chest especially. Um, so go ahead and pull your mat up to the wall. We'll do a little bit of upper body stretching and get into our hamstrings just a little bit as well. I hope you enjoy. Okay, now that we have our mat near the wall, I just want you to stand um, about a leg's distance apart and bring both hands to the wall. Deeply bend your knees and reach your hips back. And now you might notice you can move in or out a little bit just depending on how close you came to the wall, but ideally we're gonna have around a 90 degree angle in our hips. And now actively press your hands into the wall and reach your sitting bones back towards the wall behind you. And simply from here, let's begin to cat and cow here at the wall. Moving slowly and steadily through our body, not worrying about exactly what we look like or even if we're moving as fast as I am, but instead just listening to what feels good in your body. And maybe you want to stay in a bit of a traditional cat and cow like I am now, or maybe you want to begin to circle the head and the tail a little, kind of rolling around. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy. And then once more, slow that down. Again, press deeply into both of your hands into that wall. Think of hugging your inner arms towards your ears. Begin to pull your belly button up and in. And I want you to straighten your right leg and deeply bend the left. Now think of reaching that right palm past the wall. It's like you're pressing that hand so far into the wall that you're growing longer out that side. While at the same time, you're reaching that right hip back, opening up your right lateral side. Take a great big inhale. Exhale back to center. Now begin to straighten your left leg, deeply bending the right or the opposite side if you did the other one. We'll always do both sides, so if you do the wrong one or the opposite side than me, not really the wrong one, that's okay. Just as we did in our first side, press deeply into that left palm, reach your left hip back, open up all through that left side, big inhale, exhale back to center. Now just go ahead and kind of paddle through your feet, through your hips, reaching one hip back and then the other. Keep that breath even and steady. And then return yourself to center. Press deeply into the wall. Reach those hips back. Soften your shoulders down the mat. I'm sorry, down your back. We're not on the mat. And then one more time, let's cat and cow a little bit here. No hurry, no rush. Return yourself to center when you're ready. Walk your feet in just a little bit and then roll yourself all the way up to standing. Now from here, I want you to take your right hand and press it into the wall and just bring yourself as close as you possibly can. You might feel a little bit silly at first and that's fine. Look at your fingertips. Hopefully it's in line with your shoulder or maybe a little lower. We don't want it up too high right now. Once more, press your palm into the wall and look the, um, to the opposite direction. Now from here, you can stay right here. This might be enough of a stretch for you, but if you want to take your left hand, press into the wall with that left hand and see if you can look behind you. Again, this is a wonderful stopping point. Don't feel like you have to go any further. For me, I lightly press my right hip into the wall and then I'll take a step behind me. Now, just as I was doing before, both of my hands are pressing into that wall and I'm kind of trying to look behind me. You might need to make sure your head is right up over your hips. I think I was kind of leaning forward a little bit. You get a deeper stretch if you keep yourself upright. Take a great big inhale, big breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, maybe look a little bit deeper. You could even conceivably reach your left hand away from that wall and open up a whole, whole, whole lot if you want to. And then slowly bring that hand back to center. Look to the wall, gently return yourself to center. We'll do the exact same thing to the other side. Take that left hand out just as we started on the first side. I'm kind of pressing myself into the wall. 
And then I'm pressing my right hand, rights and lefts are hard, aren't they? Right hand in and opening up. And then I do have that option of kind of trying to step my right foot back, press into the wall, and look maybe behind me. Now my mic pack's in the way, so I can't put my hip into the wall quite like I did on the other side, but you are more than welcome to press that hip in so you can open up through that left pec just a little bit more. And again, you can unfold the arm, reaching it out and open. Ooh, doesn't that feel so nice? I hope so. Take a big inhale. Exhale, slowly bring yourself back to center. Gently walk your hands in. Once more, hands to about shoulder distance. Step back and now return to that little wall dog, kind of an L stretch. Now before we had our legs nice and bent, but now if you'd like to, you can begin to straighten them. And we'll do a few little pelvic tips here. So it's not quite a cat and cow. I'm not moving my upper back. I'm simply moving through my low spine, through my sacrum and my hips are kind of moving around. And now the more that I lift my sitting bones up to the sky right here, the bigger of a stretch I personally feel through the back of my body. Take a great big inhale, big breath out. One more big inhale, big sigh out the mouth. Now this time, instead of walking to the wall and forward fold, let's take a breath. Exhale, forward fold here, letting your hands come as close to the ground as possible, or as what feels good. Let that head be heavy. And just as we did on the mat, I'm sorry, just as we did on the wall, we're going to kind of curl in and then lift our sitting bones up. So this is my pelvis moving. I am kind of tucking through my low back and then I'm lifting my sitting bones up so I get a deeper stretch through the back of my hamstrings. One more time, bend, drop that chin to chest, and let's roll ourselves all the way up to standing. Now we're gonna come back to the wall and do a little bit of a deeper pec stretch. This time, instead of having the hand straight out, I want you to cactus the arm. Now this might be too much for some of us, and you can always go to that straight out position. But just as we did on our first side, press your shoulder and the whole arm into the mat, I'm sorry, into the wall, and then look behind you. Again, if this is enough, stay. Or step that arm foot back, press your left hand into the wall and start to look behind you. That might be enough. Now something that's kind of fun here is you can play with the angle to which your arm is. You might notice taking it up a little higher or bringing that elbow lower is going to change where that stretch is in your body. You still have that option to open up. That might be too much for us with our arm in that cactus. You can reach those fingertips out and away. Take a big inhale. Exhale back to center. Slowly uncurl, kind of peel yourself away. And then we'll do the exact same thing to the other side. We're gonna cactus that arm just as we did on the first side. Press your shoulder into the wall. And then again, kind of move yourself out and away. Oh, that feels so nice in my body right now. Maybe it's feeling good for you. Maybe you wanna change what level, what angle you have your arm up against the wall and that's okay. Take a big breath, let it go. Slowly one more time, press both hands into the wall there. Find that great big L stretch. Legs can be straight or bent, your choice. Maybe stretch a little bit longer, a little bit deeper through one side and the other. Go ahead and kind of tip the pelvis, curl out and around a few times. Take a big inhale, exhale forward fold, drop your chin to your chest. Bend the knees and slowly roll yourself all the way up to standing. And then go ahead and give yourself a great big pat on the back. I hope your chest is feeling a little bit better, a little bit more open. And as always, it is kind of fun to play with some extra props. And we've all got a wall at home, so that's one of my favorites. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. I hope to see you soon.